Welcome to Trade Pro. I'm doing a subscriber requested video for the pivot reversal strategy. I'm going to test it 100 times in a row so you can see how it performs over a series of trades. Now this has got to be one of the most simple strategies ever. It requires zero thinking as it literally just puts buy and sell signals with little arrows right on your chart. Plus the stop loss with the stop loss indicator requires zero thought as it tells you exactly where to place your stop loss and the 200 EMA tells you the trend direction. It doesn't get any easier than this, folks. I could probably have my wife trade this strategy and she wouldn't even mess it up with no experience. So I'm gonna show you the uh, indicator and the settings for the stop loss indicator as well. So it's built into TradingView, pivot reversal strategy, and then the oh, stop loss indicator as well. Here it is, trailing stop loss, multiple of ATR, blue phantom, and settings are default on that as well, and then just 200 EMA. So price is above the 200 EMA, you can only take the buy signals. Price is below the 200 EMA, you can only take the sell signals as we're going with the trend on this. And I'm gonna do the classic one to two risk to reward ratio. So we get a buy signal right here and stop loss goes to the stop loss indicator and two times the risk for the profit target. And then we have another buy right here, which is actually a loss. And how I'm gonna be doing this test is actually gonna be a bit different than what I've done in the past. In the past, I count every single signal that is a valid entry and I record it in the 100 tests. Here's an example of what I'm going to be doing this time. So we get a buy signal here that's a loss and then another buy signal here that's a loss. But in reality, you wouldn't take both of these because you would still be in this trade when this one comes around, if you get what I'm saying. So I just wanna see, someone suggested that I try doing it this way. Um, so I, I, I have always done it the back testing way where I count every single, every single signal. So that's how I've always done it for myself and for all these videos. Um, and then I go in and demo trade before I actually ever will risk capital on any uh, strategy. And that has been fine for me, but um, someone suggested, I don't know why I haven't really thought about this um, in the past, but someone suggested that I just skip out on the entry signals that are generated while it would still be in a trade. Assuming that you know, you're taking this trade, or maybe you came to your chart and you um, weren't there for this signal and then you were here for this signal. But anyway, I hope, hopefully you get what I'm saying here. So I'm not gonna be counting these ones where you're already in a trade. Um, so this would only count as one loss for the back testing purposes. Then this one you would take, and this one, see, is that a winner? Yeah, this one's a winner as well. All right, so really, really simple strategy. And I don't think it's going to perform that all that well it just gives so many signals. Uh, it's probably gonna get destroyed in ranges. So we'll see how this goes with this new uh, way of testing. I'm not gonna stick to this, but I just was kind of curious to see how it would go um, since I've never done this sort of uh, back testing before. All right, time to get into the 100 tests. Well, let's go.
The results are in with the pivot reversal strategy after 100 tested trades with a 1 to 2 risk reward ratio on the 15 minute time frame, which took three months of price data to find those 100. There were 39 winners, 61 losses. The most wins in a row was four, and the most losses in a row was 10. The gain on the account, 17%. We're closer to 10 if you factor in fees and spreads. So this does not do well at all. Yeah, it was to be expected just looking at this thing. It gives so many signals. It's like flipping a coin every few candles. So this is not recommended. It falls in the bad category as far as the spreadsheet goes. I'll pop up the spreadsheet so you can see where it falls, but it's in the bad category, upper range of that bad category. Anything under 20% gain on account falls in the bad category. So here it is, pivot reversal strategy, not a good one. All right, so here's the pivot reversal strategy on the spreadsheet falling right at the top of the line of the bad section of the spreadsheet. So anything below 20% gain on account is considered the bad section for these tests. And that doesn't really mean anything. It's just what I've decided. 20% and less is the bad section. And 20 to 30 is the medium average section. Anything about 30% gain on account is considered the good section, all right? So I would stick to the good section if I were you, if you're looking to choose a strategy and start optimizing it. But this is essentially just like taking random entries in the direction of the trend with a little bit of money management. You know, you're probably gonna get a similar result if you're just taking entries based on how you feel. Um, probably do better doing that than you would with the pivot reversal strategy. As long as you're still just taking entries on how you feel in the direction of the trend and with a little bit of money management. So, you know, it's pretty worthless. And yeah, that's how I feel about it. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the video, even though it wasn't a good strategy. But, um, you know, most of these videos, I'm just doing requests on what people want to see. And hopefully it's entertaining, even when it's not a successful strategy. If you have any suggestions, let me know in the comment section as I typically will get around to doing them eventually, um, even if I don't do it right away. Um, most of these are requests from people and some of them took me quite a while to do. So feel free to comment down below and I may do your strategy in the near future. But anyway, don't forget to subscribe, subscribe to the, to the channel and soon I will hit 2000, which is pretty exciting and I appreciate it because it didn't take very long. I was expecting it to take much, much longer time, and I'm glad people are enjoying the content and hopefully watching some of the uh, non-strategy related videos because those ones I actually discuss more of the important things in trading, such as psychology, risk management, calculating position sizes, and such. But anyway, if you just like the entertainment value of these videos, then that's also great. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. But anyway, have a nice day.